All right, class. Uh, this week, what I'd like to uh, walk you through is how to do the mock-ups uh, in our uh, latest project. Now, you'll see here on the uh, Moodle summary uh, for uh, what is it? Uh, April fifth. There's a number of these uh, these mock-ups listed here. Okay. Now, these are uh, zipped files that contain Photoshop documents or uh, Photoshop files uh, is probably a better word for it, that, uh, that you can easily uh, put your logo uh, and uh, artwork onto. And it creates a, a really photorealistic uh, uh, kind of thing. It, it looks actually pretty cool. So I'm going to walk you through one of these today. Um, so if you go to this and you just click on it, it will want to download. And once that's done... There we go. Downloads. Double click on the t-shirt mock-up and here you go. Okay, so what you want to do here, uh, there's the back of the shirt and the front of the shirt. Okay, and this is just the mapping and stuff and all that kind of stuff. You don't really have to worry about that. Um, all you really need to do is just double click on one of these. And if you have Photoshop open already, uh, it'll just pop it right up like you can see here. Okay, now there is artwork there that's already been placed okay I'm gonna move my layers up quite a bit because a lot of what we're gonna be doing with this has to do with uh, playing around with layers some of you this may be your first foray into uh, Photoshop uh, but don't let that intimidate you it's uh, it's a really simple program to use um, I use it all the time for all kinds of stuff, uh, and uh, it really uh, it's really the go-to uh, software for uh, graphic designers and, uh, and photographers. Okay, so that's our file that we'll be adding stuff to. Uh, now, what I need to do though is I need to uh, I need to uh, have my uh, have my logo uh, in a format that I can I can use uh, more easily. Uh, right now, it's an Adobe Illustrator file. Uh, you can open one of those up in Photoshop uh, just fine, um, but sometimes, depending on the version of uh, Photoshop that you have, sometimes it'll be a little wonky and, and things like that. I, I personally uh, prefer uh, exporting uh, Adobe Illustrator files as TIFFs and then opening those up in Photoshop. So my logo here is already grouped, it's all ready to go. So all I have to do is select it and then go up to File, uh, Export, Export As. And you can see here, I'm just going to put this in the uh, my 135 file. It's set, uh, the default is PNG. Uh, I don't really care for those. I, I like TIFFs. Just a thing, uh, and then just click on export. And let's see, color mode CMYK, uh, resolution is 600 PPI. That's actually pretty big for what we're gonna be doing, but you know that's that's okay. Um, I'm actually thinking that, yeah, this is an RGB file, so I think I might change that to uh, to RGB. There we go. And I'm I'm also I think I'm gonna knock this down. Um, Actually, I think, uh, you know, 300 is probably still a little high, but if I go underneath, if I go below that, I'm afraid it'll get fuzzy. I don't want to, don't want to take that chance. So I'm just going to click on high and then OK. And it's going to go ahead and export the, uh, export the file as a, um, as basically a piece of artwork. OK, so it's, it's going to be no longer a vector file, but a, um, but basically a, uh, a raster file, a, a bitmap, okay? Uh, that's why I want to know the resolution. Okay, so back to this thing, okay? Now there's, <laughs> these are really, uh, these, are, these are fun to use, um, these mockups are. And, uh, uh, but if you're not familiar with the way that layers work, you might get a little thrown off, okay? So um, what I'm going to do, I need to open up this, the layer that has the artwork right here, okay? Now you'll see on 
your layers palette, it says your design here. Okay, so what you want to do is double click on that. And it gives you a warning. It says, after editing the contents, choose File, Save to commit the changes. Okay, that's really important. Okay, uh, so make sure that you hit Save uh, after you replace things. Now you click OK, and here is the artwork that's on the shirt. It opens up a separate window. You can see here, uh, there's the mock-up, there's the badge. Okay, and um, what I'm going to do, um, it says Replace Me. Okay, then there's your safe area right there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go and open up my logo that I want to uh, that I want to replace. I've got a few different variations on the space opera logo here. Make sure I got the uh, the right one. Sure, if I'm in the right uh, thing here, space opera AI business card. Okay. Okay. So here's my here's my TIFF that uh, that I just created. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And like I said, it's going to be pretty big. As you can see, it it is. It's uh, pretty good sized. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, we can always size it down. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to select all, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy that. And then back here, I'm going to uh, click on the replace me right there. And uh, then I'm going to uh, go ahead and paste. Now I'm going to uh, size this down quite a bit. What I want to have this be is sort of like a badge on the uh, on the front of the shirt and have the larger graphic on the back. So I'm holding down my shift key and I'm making it quite a bit smaller. And this is your safe area within here. Now once you have that done, you have it sized down the way you want. Click on any button and hit apply, and now it's uh, it's actually smaller. Okay, and then once you have that accomplished, just do a quick save, and this is a smart object. So there it is, right there. Okay, it shows up on your on your shirt. Now I'm gonna you're gonna have to play around with this a little bit to get it in the right spot. So let's go ahead and we'll grab this and we'll move it up oh, like maybe about here. We'll hit save again. It's yeah, it's give me this little BS warning. Doesn't really matter. Okay, and that's about right. The placement's right about there. Okay. Um, okay. Now the thing is though, uh, Right now, what's going on though is I have this black square around the thing that I really don't want. I, I don't want a black on top of a black. So what I have to do is uh, change the uh, change the uh, the layer setting. Okay, so my design here, got it right there. Uh, right now, the layer settings you can find that right above the uh, right above the layers. Uh, that you have listed here, okay, in the layers palette. It's right here where it says normal. That's what we need to change, okay? So if we go down and you scroll through these, it'll do different things. If you say darken, it'll make the whole thing really dark. If you say multiply, it'll make it transparent. What I need to do is click on lighten because what that does, as you can see, is that only makes the white part visible, okay? So, so that works pretty well. You know, you can do uh, fine tuning on these really easily, just as well. If you still have the uh, the logo, excuse me, not the logo, but this part open, you can still move it a little bit and adjust it. And you know, in this case, maybe make it a little bit bigger. So you can play around with these and uh, 
and you know get what you want and as, as long as you remember to hit save apply warning it'll update the shirt okay so pretty cool huh i i, I kind of i like playing around with these things and the the cool thing about these uh these mock-ups is you can present a client with these mock-ups and say this is what we want to do this is the campaign we want to create and uh, you have a really good visual representation of uh of what the end products will be okay uh in this case okay there's the front of the shirt i'm going to go ahead and uh open up uh doo -doo -doo, gotta find it uh it's under downloads Actually, why don't I just do this the simple way? Let me cancel that. Uh, go back to my downloads of t-shirt mockups and open up the back. Rather than uh, hunt it down and uh, and uh, search through uh, through my files, if you just double click on it, it'll open open up right into Photoshop. Okay, so here we have the uh, the back of the design. Okay. Um, in the back. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and have this be like a, have the back be an advertisement for uh, my my web comic. So same kind of deal. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead my logo here. I'm going to go ahead and close that out because I don't have too many windows open. Okay, and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out the other stuff as well. Uh, I'll go ahead and do a save as for this, and we'll call this uh, T-shirt mock-up front. We'll call this uh, S O books. Hit save. Okay, and now that's saved. I don't have to worry about it. I can go ahead and close that out. And I'll close out the badge as well. Okay, now, same kind of deal here, okay? We've got our uh, our layer that has the, uh, the fill-in artwork. If we double-click on it, it'll open up a uh, separate, separate thing here. Okay, and uh, I need to open up so my artwork, which I think is, I think I have some on this thing. Okay, character sheet, logos. Uh, Got to hang on just a moment. A little harder to tell what's what with some of these things. Galaxy hires, do I have? what I'm looking for on the thing. That's my name. Okay, I think it's back here. If I go to uh, character sheets, ah, there we go. All right, so I've got a TIFF here. I've got uh, one for the web here. The one for the web is gonna be too small. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up this. Okay. Oh, I got a, uh, a missing font here, but that's not a, uh, not a real problem uh, because it just opened it up as a, uh, as a raster graphic. Uh, actually, this, the, um, that stuff I don't even need. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the visibility off. I just want the at Galaxy's core. Okay. So then I'm going to do another one of these uh, select all. And that's going to be a copy merged as well. So they have all this stuff on different layers here. Okay. All right. Now let's go back to the badge. And again, this is going to be pretty big. So um, oops, just click on that. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead and paste that in. Oh, yeah, that's huge. Okay. Now I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit here and uh, and uh, size this thing down. 
edit free transform. Now, if you're not familiar with Photoshop, um, it'll uh, you can choose specific things like uh, when that you want to transform, like size and stuff like that. But free transform is a good catch-all for everything. Uh, I I just like using it. It's it's quicker and simpler. Okay, and then let's go ahead and adjust this a little bit. Put that right there. And uh, what I can do is uh, grab this, delete it, and uh, there's my layer there. I think this is probably placed about right, but uh, I'm not sure. So, you know, not a big deal. I can just do a quick, uh, quick save. Gives me that little nonsense warning, and there we go. It's on the uh, it's on the shirt there. Uh, again, I'm going to have to adjust it a little bit. Not a big deal. Let's just take the size down a little bit so it's not running into the armpits. Center it. Gotta love those uh, those little lines that come up to show you when something's centered or not. And then we'll update that again. Click save. Apply. Okay. Okay, placement's about right now. Now all we have to do is um, create, I mean, uh, fix the uh, the layer settings. Like I said, it's uh, it's on normal right now. Um, so I've got extra black there that I don't want. So all I got to do is put it on lighten. Whoops, it wasn't selected. Uh, lighten. And there we go. Now it just is... The black of the sky is the black of the shirt. Okay, so play around with these uh, with these mockups. Um, there's there's a few of them uh, that are posted there. Uh, they're actually quite a lot of fun. Uh, all you gotta do is remember to uh, you know put the uh, put your artwork, put your logo, uh, you know in these uh, in these badge separate badge files and save them and it updates automatically to the shirt. Okay, they're really simple to use, really fun. Uh, just, you know, the more of these mock-ups you do, uh, the better grade you're gonna get. There's, uh, what, uh, three or four, four here, but you can easily find uh, mock-ups by just, uh, well, let's do that. Let's just go to Google, if you can just, you can easily search for Photoshop mockups. Just type in Photoshop mock mockups, and you'll get a, a bunch of stuff here. There, there, uh, you know, there's a bunch of them out there. There's, you know, mockup world here, which uh, has a, a bunch of them. Uh, they have a bunch at uh, Behance. And other places like that, uh, you can do some really cool stuff. Oh, Graphic Burger, um, yeah, they, they have a bunch of pretty uh, pretty cool ones too. So all you gotta do is just uh, just just look around um, and uh, you know come up with something fun. Okay, all right, I'll uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. All right.